What's going on, Avo Rollers? I just had an exercise come to my mind and I wanted to make sure I could get it for you. So if any of you are ever dealing with like hip rotation problems or noticing when you walk that your feet are pointed outwards like this when you walk, that can be due to some tightness in your hips, also your glutes, your lower back, everything that's pretty tied into your body from top to bottom really plays an effect in how your hips work. It's just not your hip muscles. Everything is connected and it all works in one. And what I have found for myself is there's all different types of levels. And for this example here, I wanted to show you that I have a bunk bed here that is roughly, I would say two and a half feet off the ground. And what I like to do for myself, and not all of you have to start there, start on a lower surface. I did. I've worked my way up to this. But what's really important to remember is when you're doing this exercise, you want to keep your foot pointed forward. And then, if you have something to grab on, please do. But if you have natural strength and natural flexibility, just slide her up on there like that. If you have that, I'm still working on it myself. And then what you're going to be doing... Let me move this little castle blanket here. What you're going to be doing is keeping your toes straight and your foot flexed. And you're simply just going to rotate back, rotate forward. And this whole time while you're doing this, it's really important to keep that foot pointed straight. Keep your waist turned forward. So you're trying to rotate that waist forward. So you're stretching out this, your hip right here. And as you're doing this, it's all one focus. So you're flexing your toe, making sure that your midline is turned, facing forward, and you are rotating your foot back and rotating it forward. And you're doing it nice and slow. And what you're going to feel is there's muscles that come across your foot and run across your knees like this. And what I found for myself is when I'm doing this stretch, when it comes across the knees right here on the rotations, I feel it through my knees. I also feel it through my toes. But over time, when you first start, you'll start to notice like your knees might be popping, your hips might be popping. And all that is is tight tendons, tight muscles, out of place. So through these exercises and through these massage techniques that can be easily taught and easily added into your life, it will change the way your body functions, the way you feel in the morning when you get up. And with something like this, very simplistic. Ooh, yeah, I just popped my ankle on that one. You know what I'm saying? It's just tight. You know, you stand on your feet all day, muscles get tight. And what I like to do with any of my exercises, especially when I'm stretching, rule number one, never be in a rush. Don't rush it. Because as soon as you start rushing rolling, you're gonna have a bad roll. As soon as you start rushing, stretching, you're gonna have a bad stretch. The point of rolling and the point of stretching is to one, repair your muscles for rolling. Stretching is to bring flexibility over your muscles and it helps with the rolling too. You'll find out as you continue to stretch and match that with the rolling techniques and sticking with this, you're gonna find, oh wow, oh wow. Now my knees don't hurt anymore. My ankles ain't hurting, my feet aren't hurting anymore. It doesn't happen overnight. And I'm excited to see everybody stick this out because you will see results. You will feel better. It's gonna be challenging. We got this, baby. We got this. This Avo Roller Club, we got this. Ain't nothing for us to get on our baby little Avo hearts. Get on our roller. Mm, hit it up. Hit these stretches. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. We four minutes into the video. Started about two minutes in. I'm still doing it. Sometimes I do it for 15 minutes at a time. And I know a lot of you say, oh, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. It's about the, it, you do, though. You do. See, I can do this exercise while watching football. Shit, I can do this exercise while watching football, while eating snacks, while drinking beer. You can do it. Trust me. Trust me. I do it all the time. Exercise doesn't have to change your lifestyle. It's just got to change the way you function while you're enjoying your lifestyle.
See, different side now. Now I'm stretching out the inside of this hip, moving it in. But I'm really focused on pushing that hip out because I don't want the hip to collapse in. You don't want the hip to collapse in. That's not proper position. You want to make sure that hip is straight. It's in the socket correctly. If you start to feel like that tight pinch up in there, yeah, there's some flex there. But for myself, I find that having a nice, strong thigh really flex your thigh and your feet through this. You want to make sure these babies are flexed because you're still, what this is doing is this is an exercise as well. You're going to find that you're going to gain balance. You're going to gain strength in your feet. You're going to gain strength in your toes all the way up through your legs. You're going to find flexibility in areas of your life that you never even realized you had. And but once you do, it's so addicting. Literally, it's my love lemonade, parsley, it's everything that makes a Bloody Mary what a Bloody Mary should be. Bacon on the tops. This is everything it should be. Same side, same technique. Foot pointed forward, midline, facing forward during the exercise. You know, sometimes I like to keep this hand free. And what you're going to find is don't be afraid to get in there and massage. You need to. You need to. Stretching is not just enough. Rolling is not just enough. This is another technique that I throw in that I'm showing you because I want you to be successful, because I want you to know what it feels like to be the maximum potential that you have. So, you know, you got tightness right here in the growing area, gentlemen, ladies, from sitting all day, from running, from lifting, whatever it may be. Take these fingers right here. And these muscles run down just like this, down down you can follow those muscle fibers what I like to do is I like to get right in there and just start massaging back and forth moving down the line moving down the line moving down the line and just working my way through those muscles little at a time you don't have to get in there real hard you don't have to start off like yeah I'm just gonna rip into these muscles and ah. no no don't do that to yourself don't hate the process Ease into it. Allow your body to get used to the process. Allow your mind to start developing the techniques that it requires to focus on the right parts of your body. Because at first you are going to find that oh, I can't even focus on my stretch because my core hurts. And my man, why is my right foot hurting? I'm standing on it. You know, those thoughts are going to come to your head. But what I want you to remember is think about the perspective of what you're trying to accomplish. If your perspective is focused on your right foot hurting, then your perspective is not focused on what it needs to be. And that is your left foot being pulled back straight, your thigh being st stiff, bam, boom, boom, boom. Make sure that is flexed. I do, a, I do a flex for myself because when you flex that muscle, it causes a contraction. And then when you got that muscle contracted, and then you start stretching it, then it starts ripping it more. Just like the same process if you were lifting weights and you're building muscle and you're ripping up, same thing. If you're flexing that muscle, you're causing a contraction. When you are flexing that muscle like this, that is, calling, that is tearing microfibers. And those microfibers will build over time and you do get stronger and you do develop balance. I believe it's called twitch one and twitch two fibers, if I'm not mistaken. And I have found that this has helped my knee strength. This has helped my overall foot strength. I have found balance through areas of my life as far as like my hips. My hips used to hurt all the time. And I started doing this hip rotation, focusing on the flex, focusing on the, the balance all the way through the flex, all the way through. And I have found that it has been super beneficial for my calves, my feet, my heels, mainly my knees though, honestly. The hip, I used to have a popping in my hip. I don't know if any of you have this, but sometimes when you do internal and external rotations or like knee raises, you get that pop on that, I believe the term is medial. I, I But I'll look it up to make sure I'm right. But on the outside of your hip, and it feels like it's just pop, 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 no matter which way you turn it. 
I have found that this exercise right here has relieved a lot of that pain in that hip and also loosened that tendon up and put it back where it needed to be. Because all that is is a tendon out of place. It's just catching. It doesn't mean to be there, but it is. And sometimes you just gotta work, takes time to work them back into place. But this is the one little tip that I wanted to leave you all today for your hips, for your feet, for your knees. Really start off on any size. Little stand, little chair. If you gotta use a wall to hold your balance up, do it, do it. Cause really what this exercise is focused on is really just getting some hip rotation, focusing on your knees, focusing on your ankles, focusing on your feet. And like I always like to remind everybody, I am no professional. I am just a gentleman that is sharing his journey and I hope that these little tips and tricks can help you create your own journey. To my Avo Roller family, much love and I can't wait to see the results. Later, y'all.